In this video, we learn how to create an automated workflow with N8N that creates a Google presentation based on user input and populates it with an appropriate title and text. For a business owner, this workflow offers great benefits. It saves time when creating presentations and ensures consistent, professionally worded content. You can quickly and easily create compelling slides that convey your message clearly and concisely. The workflow consists of several important components, which we will now explain in turn. We start with a form node called input form. This node provides an input form where the user can enter the title of the presentation and the topic. The form has two fields, a text field for the presentation title and a larger text field for the topic. These entries serve as the basis for further processing. Next comes the open router chat model node. This node is a language model that enables appropriate text generation based on the input. It uses an interface to an AI service to create content. No special parameters are set here. It is an open chat model that reacts flexibly to the input. The third node is called basic LLM chain. It connects the input from the form with the language model and controls what the output should look like. This node defines that a title with around 35 characters and a text with around 200 characters should be generated for a Google slide. In addition, a so-called output parser is activated here, which evaluates the response of the language model in a structured manner. The structured output parser node takes this structured output and converts it into a format that is suitable for further processing in N8N. This allows us to pass on the individual components such as title and text to other nodes in a targeted manner. The Google Slides node is then used to create a new presentation with the generated title. Here the title is taken from the AI output and set as the name of the presentation. A Google OAuth connection is required for this node so that N8N can access the Google account. This is followed by the Get Slides node. It reads the slides from the presentation that has just been created. This is necessary to identify the individual slide objects that are to be filled with text later. The set node edit fields assigns the object IDs of the title and text fields of the first slide to variables. These variables are used to target the correct text fields. Finally, the fill empty slide node is used. It uses an HTTP request to the Google Slides API to insert the title and text into the corresponding fields of the slide. The values from the AI output are used so that the slide is automatically filled with the appropriate content. In addition, there is a sticky note node that serves as a comment in the workflow and describes that this workflow automates the creation of Google presentations. To summarize, in this video we learned how to use N8N to create a form to capture user input, pass that input to an AI language model, evaluate the response in a structured way, and finally populate a Google presentation with auto-generated slides. This workflow facilitates the rapid creation of professional presentations and saves valuable time in everyday work. If you have any questions or suggestions, just send us an email. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.